This isn't a specs video. Specs have a place and they matter in their own way. But specs are boring, fam. You know what isn't boring? A story. And this story starts with a company and a really creative guy who changed the way music was made 35 years ago. That story led to others. And soon that light colored box with the gray pads started showing up in a lot of other people's stories, including mine. For me, it started in 1997, the Clinton years, when a single mother from New Jersey took a $1,200 tax refund check and took a chance on her oldest son, who was starting to fall in with the wrong crowd, but never stopped dreaming about that light colored box that all his heroes are using. Akai was 10 years in when I jumped in, but just like a lot of y'all, it changed my path in life to something more fun, something more creative. There was nothing else that looked like it. There were competitors, but everyone had to admit the MPC was iconic. The off-white, the gray, little touches of blue, and that word that meant red in Japanese. It's been 35 years. After decades of ups and downs and innovation, this iconic brand has brought us a celebration piece. A toast to all the moments that make the MPC the cultural and creative legend that it is. So while Akai has a history of shaking up the music world with breakout pieces and a strong history of upgrades, this MPC X Special Edition is more of a recrowning of their top tier offering, the MPC X. It's a familiar layout, the same massive 10 inch screen, the same healthy dose of Q links with the digital readouts, the same luxurious wrist pad and field of dedicated buttons and controls. They did add a few enhancements to the flagship though. Double the RAM at four gigs to accommodate more of their ever-growing library of plugins and instruments, many of which are included. This MPCX special edition release, it's not about being groundbreaking. As much as it's about clarifying and reinforcing which unit is the alpha dog in this modern MPC lineup, it's a re-crowning. It's finally rounding out the retro models that so many MPC users love. And personally, I knew if they dropped a retro version of the X, there was no way I was gonna be able to resist it. And that's because of where I am with my music career. So let me explain why is it for me and who else is it for? All right, y'all, so let's get down to brass tacks. Who is the MPC X Special Edition for? Well, in my case, you know, I've reached a point in my career where I was perfectly happy with the rectangle MPCs, but recently, as I got more into sound design, as I got more into controlling other pieces of gear, and also just wanting a more comfortable environment to do my sound design work, to do my production work, I started really seeing the benefits of using an X. Now, I actually lucked out and caught a great deal on the original MPC X last summer, on my birthday of all times, uh, I caught it at a pawn shop for like a thousand bucks, and I'm glad I got it for a couple reasons. One, I got to experience what all the hype was about, about these full-size MPCs. I really wanted a full-size MPC since I started producing back in 1997. I had the MPC 2000, and we always looked up to the guys with the 3000s, right? Because it was kind of like a trophy piece. It showed that you were actually productive with your work, and more importantly, that you earned it. There weren't a whole lot of people walking around with MPC 3000s and a lot of the bigger flagship units that you saw come after that, like the 4000 and the 5000. They were much more rare than the 1000s and the 2500s and things like that. So this isn't much different. Akai has done this throughout their history. They've released incrementally better units. They did limited edition MPC 3000s, which had spec bumps. But long story short, this is part of Akai's history to do these limited edition pieces. Sometimes it's just a paint job. In this case, I'm really happy it's not just a paint job. Because I had an original X, it would have been really hard for me to justify upgrading to this. 
for a couple reasons. It's not a monumental spec bump, right? You're talking about two gigs of RAM. It really helps if you use the MPC instruments a lot. So I will say if you're bumping up against RAM issues when you're using your MPC instruments with the original X, this will definitely help with that. You're definitely able to load up more of those plugins and really take advantage of the capabilities of this thing. So again, who I would recommend this for, two different types of people. Guys like myself who've been working really hard, really earning with their craft, even if it's not with your craft and you've just been going hard, working extra hard, and you wanna treat yourself, this is a great way to do it. Again, I love NPCs because it's one of those things where even if you use it as a hobby, it's one of the few hobbies where you actually produce something that has worth afterwards, right? So when you create this music and you get better at it, you really have pieces that you can publish and make money off in the future or just for entertainment and to look back at your work. It's a beautiful thing. So if you're like me and you've been working super hard, you feel like you've earned the top of the line, the best money you can buy with this Akai MPC experience, this is the one to get. Now, if you already have an X, I'm not gonna tell you this is something that you need. Again, it really depends how much you like those onboard instruments. If you use them a lot, this is definitely gonna help. They matched it with the MPC Key 61 as far as the RAM, and that just gives them more processing power. So that's scenario number one, the trophy piece. Scenario number two that I would recommend upgrading to this would be if you want a second MPC, you're ready to upgrade, you've been using the one, you've been using the live or the live two, and you're ready to really upgrade your experience, you're sure MPC is your platform, you have no doubt in your mind about it, which as you can see in the beginning, I totally love these things. I'm committed to the MPC platform because it's been something that's given me so much joy over the years, I'm not going anywhere. So if you know you love the platform, you've been using an entry level MPC, and you're ready to take the step up, and you love this retro colorway, I really can't think of many better reasons than to treat yourself and get yourself something that's productive, but also very fun to use, very comfortable to use. Again, the wrist rest on it is just super comfortable. You've got the pad centered, you've got all these dedicated buttons. It's just a different experience. You're reaching with your hands instead of just using your fingers. It took a little getting used to coming from one of the rectangle NPCs, but when I got the X, I totally fell in love with the Q-Link workflow. And then you start to really just appreciate how much these Q-Links come in handy when you're on different screens. You can hit all these different Q-Link modes. One of my favorite ones is the pad parameter one. And this one typically will put the levels on here. So you can actually just mix from your Q-Links. You have 16 pads of sounds. You can just mix it right from the Q-Links very quickly. Even in six months, I can't say I conquered everything that the X had to offer. There's still a ton of utility that can be had in these Q-Links that I still haven't learned yet. But just off the little bit that I have learned, Man, it's a lot of fun coming from one of the rectangle boxes. So as far as upgrades go, this thing is absolutely monumental. It's beautiful. I think some people get caught up in the specs so much that they think these NPCs need way more processing and all these other upgrades. And as a tech guy, I get it, right? Like we want everything to perform faster, faster, faster. But if I'm gonna be totally honest with you, using NPCs as standalone now with all these instruments, with all these plugins, they're very efficient. You don't need anything else for producing music. I'm making some of the best music of my life on this thing, including that intro beat, which you heard. I do sound design on these. So if you like the drums and the loop that you heard on the intro, that's on my Standalone Soul Pack series, which you can check out at standalonesoul.com. I also have them on my website, imsite.com. If you know anything about the X, this thing is lights out when it comes to IO. It's something that you're not gonna need any IO for a long time, if ever. So I can go on for days about this thing, but if I had to recommend it to someone, it would be those two scenarios. Now I've been super blessed because I knew I wouldn't be able to resist this when it came out, even if it was just the colorway. But I gotta shout out Andy Mack and the good folks at Akai who sent this over to me. It's a very proud moment for me as a 25 year MPC user who really loves these devices, who's built a whole community around these devices. Shout out to the MPC gang. And as a tip to the hat, you see they actually included a splash screen on this unit, so it's a one of one. It's really amazing, it's a nice touch. No, but it's great that Akai has really come around and shown so much respect to the community. They're really paying attention to what we want. And while some people might say, hey, this is not what we asked for. You gotta remember the company also has their goals and it's been 35 years. It's a major milestone for them. And as a fan of the brand, I was really grateful because they allowed me to participate in this celebration with them by creating some new merch, which I'm calling the Retro King line. And it includes the retro pads along with the crown to symbolize the king of the MPC retros. It also symbolizes being a master of your craft with the MPC. This classic colorway is something that we all love as MPC users. So these hats aren't just for the owners of this beautiful thing. It's for all of us 
who enjoy and love the retro colorway, and we've really taken our time to become kings on these things. In addition, they allow me to emblazon it with the official badge for the 35th anniversary. And as I showed you in the intro, I'm super grateful for what these products have done for me throughout my life, not just when I started my music career, but also now, 25 years later, the fact that I'm in the position that I'm in, being able to have such an amazing community of MPC users behind me is very humbling and I'm very grateful. And none of this would happen without you guys watching my channel and supporting the MPC gang as you do. So with that said, if you have more questions about this unit, make sure you put it in the comments down below. I'm gonna answer as many comments and questions as I can. And if I have to do a follow-up video, I definitely will, but you will be seeing this on my channel quite a bit. I'm super excited to use it. It's absolutely beautiful. When I saw it for the first time, it brought me right back to 97. And, uh, and man, what a long way we've all come, right? So salute to y'all for tuning in today. Catch you on the next one. Peace.